Local family members are hoping new evidence will exonerate San Diego native Scott Peterson, convicted for the 2002 murder of his wife and unborn son. ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen digs into the new evidence that is the focus of tonight's 2020. We are optimistic that the issue that's before the court will result in Scott getting a new trial. Optimism from Scott Peterson's sister-in-law, Janie Peterson, nearly two decades later. La Jolla, 2003, his hair dyed blonde, Scott Peterson arrested in front of Torrey Pines Golf Course in the disappearance of his wife, Lacey Peterson, eight months pregnant. The body of Lacey discovered days before along San Francisco Bay, the disappearance and murder trial capturing national headlines. We, the jury, find the defendant, Scott Lee Peterson, guilty. Peterson found guilty of murder and sentenced to death. Then, last August, the state Supreme Court overturning the death sentence over jury selection issues, setting the stage for a retrial of the sentencing phase. The trial court also ordered to look at whether the verdict should be set aside because a juror didn't disclose her involvement in legal proceedings. If Peterson does get a new trial, supporters say they'll put forth new evidence. This is evidence that had been discussed uh, around the time of the trial, but the defense would say that they have better proof of it now. The new evidence is the subject of tonight's edition of 2020. That evidence includes eyewitnesses who claim to have seen Lacey after she disappeared. Another piece of evidence centers around a burglary across the street from the Peterson home on the same day Lacey disappeared. Janie Peterson says a prison official overheard a conversation involving an associate of one of the convicted burglars. And on that phone call, which was recorded, it talked about Lacey confronting the burglars. Um, the Modesto police never followed up on that tip, um, and that recording has since disappeared. Detectives have said they interviewed those burglars and dismissed them as suspects. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News.